Welcome back, beautiful beings. We're gonna start where we left off with a glitter one. I'm gonna put some glue. You can use Maj Baj, any kind of glue you want. I'm just gonna put a little bit up here because I like that texture from the gesso. I'm just gonna take the glitter, tap it on. If it comes out, it comes out, that's okay. And I'm gonna let this set because I'm used to using Maj Baj, so I don't know how much glitter the Lana's will grab. So we're just gonna let that sit. And again, put that off to the side. And then I'm gonna do that one. Eggshells, or the pine cone, sorry, eggshells. What's behind there? Pine cone. Now what I'm gonna do is rip this up. Just rip it up knock them all out, but might as well do that after the glue so it catches little ones. And I got my toothpick, just in case. Start putting them on, but that's why I wanted to rip it apart there, because it'll grab all those little pieces of stuff also. Okay, let's take our egg corn and start ripping. And letting them land, whatever. You can put as much as you want, or as less as you want. But look at that texture. I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna need more. Put this one right here. And you can still show some of the background, or you can cover it where you don't show all the background. And knock that tiny stuff up in there. Whatever's loose, knock it off. And scoop it back up, put it over the side. As much texture as you like. I think that's cute. Okay, when everything's dry, I'll be back. Okay, I didn't know if I mentioned it. I got the little pine cones out of here. Remember the pumpkin scented pine cones I got from Dollar Tree? And it came with different stuff, but that's where I got that out of and tore up, okay? Now, back to this one. I'm gonna put some glue down. Yep. This, put this here. And I'm going to put this down in here for easy cleanup. And we're just going to take this bag of our scented stuff. Fresh scents. You can get it from Dollar Tree. And we're going to just dump it on there. Like this. I don't know if I should let this sit properly, but I'm just gonna move it up and down and then I'm gonna dump it off. Look at that. I need some up there, I think. Just a little bit right here so it blends. Then I just go like this and dip that in there. It's not going on it. There we go. And get that effect okay all right i think we covered everything what we're gonna do is wait for everything to dry i know you probably figured this out but that's why i did this just so i could put it right back in the bag 
this thing's kind of big to show you, but that's why I did that, okay? It just makes it easier. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings. You can leave it white, but I don't want to leave it white. And I was thinking about mixing the paint with water, but I can't because you got to remember, this is bath salt and it will melt. <laughs> so I'm going to use coffee bean and I'm going to cover it with a little bit of paint and hopefully cool it doesn't move around. I just want it thin layer. It's still moving, but you can cover it with Mod Bodge. I didn't want to do that first because, you know, then the, the paint would have been on top of the Mod Bodge. So we're learning together how this is gonna work. And it's, so far it's not working very well, but we'll get through this. I can glue this down once I got it painted. Now we're gonna add some glue. And we're gonna mix that around in there and hopefully it glues down. And then when we cover it with Mod Bodge, I think it'll be all right. That was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna put Mod Bodge on it. I'm thinking why wait for it to dry and then add Mod Bodge and then wait for it to dry again. So I'm just gonna do this. And I don't have no idea if this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out. Okay, now I'm gonna try. I'm gonna add some Mod Bodge to this. Whatever material they use, but here we go. We got this all covered. And that one's done. Now, I wanna do the glitter one. I'll show you how this turned out. And you can, with this one, take a brush, go like that. But I gotta wash my brush. And you can put more glitter in if you want. I kind of like that look. But now I'm just gonna get some Mod Bodge and try to do that because I don't know if it's gonna come up and I don't wanna dip it back in my big thing of Mod Bodge just because I don't want glitter in it. There, that should be enough. Wipe this, this. Okay, my brush is all clean. I'm just going to try to get a clump. Bodge, bodge. Go like this. Make sure I got enough. Okay, we got them all glued. Only next step we're going to have to do is to put glue on the bottom of it. Put Mod Bodge on the bottom of it so the chip don't paint. Okay, I got my brush clean. So I'm gonna pick that up and hold it here. Cause all we're gonna do is need a real light coat. that little pattern going down here with the brush and voila we'll be back those are all dry He'll be, okay. okay beautiful beings just in case the one with the sea salt doesn't turn out I'm doing another one okay and all I did I put a thick coat of paint on and then I just went like that for a texture down here I'm showing you because I didn't do that on the other ones okay 
So we'll see how this thick coat turns out. Leaving it like that, okay? Okay, beautiful beings. On this one, I'm gonna put some of these down. Okay, I'm gonna show you in a different video. You can get the berry pick, Dollar Tree. So I peeled some off and I cut them down. Yeah, don't breathe too hard on them because they'll fly away. And all I did was take the scissors and cut them to where I wanted them, okay? Raffia too, as you can see, and I cut it up. All I did with that was, where's the one I had? I put two together so it'd be faster. Put them together like this. And then I cut them like that. Okay. And then I took them and cut them, some of them, in half again. Okay. That's all you gotta do. Just for a different texture. I'm gonna take some of this spiced marmalade. Marmalade? Marmalade. There, I got it that time. I'm gonna spray some in here. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of water in. See? Very, very tiny bit. And I'm gonna shake them up. Really good. Get them all colored. And I'll probably let that sit in there so it goes through the foam because I've never done this to foam before. So I'm gonna let it sit for at least five minutes so it penetrates inside the foam. And then get something plastic to dump it out on so it don't stick to it when it's dry, okay? So I'm gonna dump them in here when it's dry, okay? Because it won't stick to plastic. And if you dump this on paper, one to put, maybe we'll put a little bit more of the scent from the bag on it too. We'll see, but not that much, just a little bit. Then we'll have three different textures. We'll have these, we'll have some of this, and we'll have some raffia. Okay, that way, if you don't have one, hopefully you have the other, <laughs> if you wanna try this method. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful bean, sorry. I'm just trying to show you everything I'm doing. All right, this is walnut stain, you can't see it, but I sprayed, I just sprayed one squirt on there, and I think it's better not to put it in a bottle. Now, if you're doing paint, if you're trying to color these with paint, I'd put a little tiny bit of paint in a bottle, a little tiny bit of water, and do it that way and they are hard to get out of the bottle. <laughs> so, and they were too orange for me, so I just sprayed a squirt of walnut stain, and now I'm gonna mix them up in here, like so. Some will have more brown, some will have more orange. They were just way too orange for me. Okay, it's this way, they colored. And make sure you get the color, this sides with the, foam showing so they're fully colored then it'll just look like texture Let's see if I can find one in here this should be a good one to show you right there see that way it's hiding that foam color okay all right I'm done coloring these I'm back when everything's dry oh and I did the edges were dry on this so I put some paint up there. I used burnt lumber up here, but that texture looks like it's going to dry nicely. Okay. And then I might, I don't even know. Maybe I, I won't even put gesso because this is taking way too long. <laughs> I'm impatient when it comes to having something dry. All right. But when everything's dry, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. This one is a hot mess. <laughs> And I might have been calling this sea salt, it's actually bath salt, okay? But it's a hot mess, and I don't even know. It's not even dry yet. It's still drying. And it's got tiny little bubbles. I don't even know if this, I might have to just scrape it off and start all over again. I don't know, <laughs> it's a hot mess. But anyway, this one, to replace it, it did work, the effect of the paint I did. That was a nice thick paint to do that with, and it did work. And I love the effect. Okay, and we're gonna cover it with berries that we colored. And I'm 
passion flower fragrance stuff that was left over in here after all the fragrance. I mean, there's a little fragrance left, but hardly any. And our raffia. We cut up some raffia. And now I got boxwood leaves that I want to cut up and put in there too. Here goes nothing beautiful beings. Move this down. And I'm gonna apply this onto here. I pray to make sure it's mixed good first. I'm just gonna take it and start pouring. Oh yeah, we got plenty of stuff. We got plenty. So I was worried about not having enough. We got plenty. But we don't want it to turn out like the bath salt. <laughs> we do not want it this thick, so I'm just gonna make sure. So I'm gonna stick stuck down. Before I tip it, spread it out, because it's not getting on the edges. Hopefully I put enough glue down. What about that side? Want something over there. I don't have no berries over here. Tap that. Eh, pretty good. Need something right there though. Not too shabby. Should we keep our shape? That one's got too much raffia in one spot, but that's all right. I'm just gonna leave as is because you got a spot with just like the stuff from the passion flower, raffia, I just like how it turned out, I think. Then we got this long thing here. I don't even know what that is. It's from the raffia, I think. I can't even get a grip on it. Where's my toothpick? Where's my toothpick? There. Put that out of there. And hopefully, it all stays glued down. Got enough for another one, I think. I don't know if the grandkids, I'm trying to save some for the grandkids. And not to be a hog about it. So they, if they want to do some, they can have one to do. I'm gonna dip that in there. Where'd that one I have? Pick this one up, stick it right here. Get in there. Thank you. And I think that's gonna glue down nicely. So when I put the Mod Podge on, it doesn't come up. Okay, but this one is my favorite. It's not dry yet, but this is my favorite one right here. <laughs> but I do like the texture on this and I do like that. And the glitter one isn't that dry yet either. I mean, it's almost dry, but not quite. So when everything is dry, I will return. Okay, beautiful beings. That was a hot mess and I had to decide before the glue dried. I just wiped it, wiped it off. There's still some hair, but maybe it will come off. Yeah, I had to scrape it off with my, my nail. <laughs> and then when I got to the bottom, I could just peel it off. And then I had to get the stuff out of my nail. But here's what we're gonna do. I don't want that there. I took some more pine cone, threw it into the mix just to make sure we had enough. And we're gonna apply the mixture we just used on the other one together. So we got pine cone, scent stuff for the bag, and we got raffia, and we got those little berries, okay?
this is two. And then we're gonna dump it on there. Just like so. Then again, I didn't get it even. It out, push it up, up there. It sticks. I think I'm gonna let this one sit a minute so it sticks some. I'll let it sit for like five minutes and then knock off whatever doesn't stick, and then throw the rest in the garbage. Too big of a piece right there, and it's turned. I need something up there. Something. All right, I think that's gonna stick nicely. I'll be back. In about, I'm gonna give it 10 minutes. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, beautiful beings. Let's see. Let's see. Now we got a, we got a sprig sticking on right here. Sprig, branch, whatever you wanna call it. A sprig, a stem, <laughs> a sprig. <laughs> All right. I don't mind that down there. I mean, we do that texture. It just looks like nature worked its magic, right? And I think it's okay to mod podge. So, mod podge. So, I have my big tub over here. So, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick it back in. So, and I don't wanna put too much mod podge because I think I did on the scented stuff because it's like taking forever to dry. And I hope it does dry. I don't even know if it will dry with that material. Hopefully that's enough bunch bunch. Okay, that's good enough. But I wanted to show you this. See that? It's been like three hours. I don't know what's up with that. If I have a problem with that, I might have to apply more. I'm gonna wait until morning. I'm be patient because it's like almost no. It's a little after eleven. So I'm gonna be patient, and I'm gonna wait till morning. Okay, I'm gonna go relax, wait till morning, and if this still isn't dry where I can see through it. I'm probably going to apply a little more, just a little bit, put some on it where it's white, and then put a tiny bit of Modge Podge, but I'm hoping that will be dried by morning. All right. Okay, beautiful beings, I'm going to make a part three, and the part three will only be 15 minutes. I was hoping part two would be only 15 minutes, but it didn't work out. Okay, have a wonderful everything. <laughs>